Planning and organizing is one of those skills that leaders really need. And before I talk about the needs of it, one of the important parts of it is to know your own strengths in that area. So I want to first start with a story. My wife and I like to travel. And when we prepare for a trip, particularly if it's a long one or a vacation, we actually prepare in a very different way. So I think in my head, I block out times blocks, and that's when I get my things done, and I usually get them all done. She makes lists, and lots and lots of lists. And now we've been together for quite some time, 30 plus years, and we don't mess with each other's strategies or approaches, because it works for us. If that's how you think about your own planning and organizing, whether you're making lists or whether you're doing it in your head, how does that translate into the workplace? Do you use those same strategies? And if you can identify first personally how you go about it, then that helps you give you an indication of what you need to do to get better at it. So when I work with clients, time invariably comes up as something they don't have enough of. They talk about they are so busy in their day, they don't have enough time to accomplish everything. So then I will ask them right after that, what are the methods that they currently use to plan their day or week to begin to figure out how they organize their ideas? And when they share their methods with me, which might be lists or sticky notes or some other uh, basis in the computer, I then use that as a starting place for them to improve, to get better at their planning and organizing. So one example, I just recently heard a, an interview with an executive from Facebook and she talked about her planning and organizing uh, approaches. And what she does every week is she takes one to two hours and uses it, that's her time, to plan and organize the week. This reminds us of Stephen Covey's habit number two, begin with the end in mind. So one of the challenges or difficulties that leaders have with not being well-planned or organized is the expectations that they have for who's working with them isn't there. So they don't know really what they're supposed to be doing. And so that's when deadlines go by or questions come up. And so as a leader, you really need to be very clear about what your expectations are, what are the steps, who needs to do what, what, and how far in advance you need it to get your part done. And it's really an accountability system. So without accountability, right? I mean, if there's no expectations, there's no accountability. To become good at planning and organizing, you have to make a choice. It is a choice of how you use your time.